of simplify this. Uh, what, what we're, <laughs> I mean, it's more complicated than this, but it's, in a lot of ways, it's kind of like a Fitbit in your skull with tiny wires. It's kind of a Fitbit in your skull with tiny wires. Elon Musk. Wires in the skull sound a bit deadly, no? Well, if Elon Musk is saying this, maybe we should give it a try. But what is he talking about here? Have you heard of Neuralink before? It's an amazing creation of Elon Musk in the field of science that will change the face of humanity forever. Hello, viewers. Welcome to TechWiki, where you get to know the latest updates in the field of science and technology. In today's video, we are going to talk about Neuralink, which has come with a big question mark among humans. Want to know everything about this fancy scientific technology? Stay with us and find out everything you need to know. Before we begin with the video, take a deep breath and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the bell icon because we have some incredible videos lined up for you. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. One, what is Neuralink? Neuralink is a device that will be surgically implanted into your brain. Wait, what? Yes, you heard it right. Once the Neuralink is embedded into your brain, you'll be able to communicate with machines and even control them. The device implanted into your brain will also help you study the electrical signals in the brain and arrive at solutions that can help cure various medical problems like autism, blindness, depression, paralysis, insomnia, memory loss, anxiety, brain damage, strokes, seizures, extreme pain, addiction, hearing loss, and the list goes on. Most of the physical and mental conditions that seem to be untreatable today could be easily cured with Neuralink. Yes, it's amazing news, but you still have a chip in your skull. 2. How will Neuralink insert into your skull? Neuralink will be inserted in your skull with what is being called an N1 chipset, in Elon Musk's words. The chipset is 8 millimeters in diameter and has multiple wires housing electrodes and insulation for the wires. Okay, we have the setup, but how will it be introduced into our skull? Simple. These wires will be surgically placed inside our brain using a robot. The wire is as thick as the neurons in your brain and thinner than a strand of hair at 100 micrometers. To compare, imagine the diameter of your hair and then divide that diameter by 10. The specialists have confirmed that you will not be harmed in this whole process as the chip will be inserted in the areas of skulls where there are fewer veins. So, there is no chance of blood loss and everything can be done with the help of a robot without giving you anesthesia. Do you know what the amazing part is? No one will ever be able to find out that you have a device in your skull because your hair will hide it and life will be normal. Yes, for that, hair is a must. 3. How Neuralink Works When you're getting a device inside your skull, you must know beforehand what you're getting into and how this device works. Have you seen the Hollywood action flick The Matrix? Remember the scene where Neo learns martial arts just by loading a computer program into his brain? Well, Neuralink might not be able to teach you martial arts, but it will be able to send and receive electrical signals through your brain to control machines. Yes, you will be able to control devices soon, which is necessary to survive when AI will become more powerful than humans. It is not just a statement. Science can prove it. Even today, robots have started taking our jobs. What will you do when every task will be in control of robots? This device will help you compete with robots using your biological and extended intelligence. For the time being, it is estimated that initially, you will be able to control basic devices like your smartphone, computer, and maybe even type using thoughts. Four, what are the phenomenal uses associated to Neuralink? The, all of your senses, your sight, hearing, feeling, um, pain, uh, these are all electrical signals sent by neurons to your brain. And if you can uh, correct these signals, you can solve everything from memory loss, hear, memory loss, hearing loss, blindness, paralysis, depression, insomnia, extreme pain, seizures, anxiety, addiction, strokes, brain damage. These can, be in sol these can all be solved with an implantable uh, neuro... Uh, Have you neuro ever had the desire to read someone's thoughts? With Neuralink, you can fulfill that desire. Yes, it will enable humans for consensual telepathy. That means fewer words and more thoughts to be listened to. 
Well, if someone will be listening to my thoughts, they may get strangled and confused. Neuralink will enable you to record your memory and replay it whenever you want. Do you know what that means? Read once for the exam, and no one can stop you from scoring a big A. Neuralink can also be used to restore the speech and movement of a paralyzed person. 5. When will Neuralink come into the market? Neuralink is a revolutionary device and a complicated device. There is a negative side to it on which the scientists are still working. But Elon Musk seems to be curious to launch this product as soon as possible, as he announced in an interview that Neuralink's human tests would be started soon. It seems like Elon Musk is underestimating the time that is going to be invested in building this device to be human-friendly. In the name of progress, we have three pigs on which the device is being tested. According to other scientists' statements and the results of the device and the pig, it feels like it will take longer for the device to reach human testing. 6. What are the concerns related to Neuralink? If the Black Mirror series has taught us anything by now, is never mess with AI. Maybe Neuralink is precisely what human beings need to survive this world. But the truth is, it is not ready yet. The main concern with Neuralink is that the device will need to learn from existing brain-computer interface technology's successes and failures. These threads connecting electrodes to the chip need to be flexible to minimize the damage to surrounding brain tissue. And if this technology is to be given to patients with pre-existing conditions, there are also risks associated with operating on those whose immune systems may be compromised. Along with all the biological concerns, the question, what if the device is connected to the internet? How will we be protected against hackers who might try to steal data directly from our brains? And what's stopping a person from spying on my thoughts through the device? There are many questions related to Neuralink that still seek answers. What are your thoughts about Neuralink? Let us know in the comment section below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, do it now. And don't forget to like and share this video.